I mean, even Ryan here said he got paid, uh, you know, way less than he thought he, or way more than he thought he would. And he knew that he could have asked for more. Okay. So based upon the needs, of the company, you have to understand this too. These women in HR, okay. Cause nine times it's a woman or a gay guy. They don't know what the f they're talking about. Like they, in regards to the actual skill set needed, nine times out of 10, they have no idea what the f they're talking about. These, these people in HR are just gatekeepers. Okay. So this is how a organization works. Okay. You have a company and they are here. Okay. And so this, let's just say, make it very simple. The CEO says to HR, okay, that. We need cybersecurity, okay? And then the HR, HR is given a budget, okay? And let's just say they're given a budget from, let's just say, 80K to like 130K, okay? And then HR, they go into Indeed, Right. Uh, they go to LinkedIn. Or they go to recruiters. OK. And they look for people in the real world to bring them back to the CEO so that the CEO can put these people in the company and the company can make money. That's how it works. So if you're a guy and you have experience and they're advertising 80K, you don't really know that 80K is the roof for what they're, you know, what they're searching for. So what you can do is you can always negotiate for a little bit more based upon your experience and based upon your negotiation skills, how dumb the HR people are, and how well you present yourself during an interview and your resume, you can get way more than they're offering because they absolutely have a shortage of people across the United States, especially if you're not crazy and you can show up on time, <laughs> like as low as the standards are. So you have to understand these HR people, they Shut are, up and take my money. These HR people, they are just lackeys. Okay. For the CEO and the hiring manager. Okay. So when you're able to do all these things, with Ryan's course, you can get even more money as well because he understands the, the, the how the the HR side of things work. That's the whole hiring process. You have to understand this HR and HRs are they're just gophers. They just read the fucking resumes. They put together some kind of job description that they don't even know what the they're talking about nine times out of ten. And then they present the resumes to the hiring manager. And then the hiring manager is the one who actually does the interview. If you do an interview with HR, they're just screening you to make sure you're not weird, make sure you have no red flags, make sure you at least meet some baseline qualifications. But then once you're experienced in this industry, you have one, two, three, four years on your belt, you're virtually invincible when it comes to getting new jobs and new positions. Because another thing is this too. A lot of guys who are typically in the IT field, the tech field, they're socially retarded and weird, and <laughs> they don't even have good hygiene. They, Ryan is not a, like a, a textbook example of a cybersecurity guy. He has a sex life. He has a side business. He's well-groomed. He hits the gym. Uh, so like I said, if you could bring all that to the table and more, then, dude, the, op the opportunities are just truly endless.